Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So today is the 5th of October 2021, and as many of you are very aware now, Windows 11 is now officially rolling out to the general public. And as mentioned in a video I posted a short while ago, Microsoft actually didn't give us a specific time zone when Windows 11 would actually be rolling out. But basically, it'll roll out whenever the 5th starts in your country and whatever time zone you find um, yourself in. Now, if you are running a compatible PC that meets all the minimum hardware and system requirements um, regarding Windows 11, the easiest way to check for the update is just to head to your settings menu, update and security. And because Windows 11 is an optional update, you just check for updates, you seek for the update. And if you don't see the update um, straight away, you will get this message, which says this PC can run Windows 11. Great news, your PC meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Specific timing for when it will be offered can vary as we get it ready for you. And if you are not compatible, as I mentioned in the video I posted a short while ago, you will see a different message basically telling you that you are not compatible for Windows 11 on your machine. Now, there are a couple of reasons um, that you won't see the update straight out of the box, so to speak, when you check for updates and you get this message. And I did post uh, uh, this in a video yesterday, but I'll just summarize quickly. The first is that Microsoft will obviously want to not have too much demand on their servers and prevent a server overload, which can cause all its own issues. And this will be due to the high demand of Windows 11. Windows 11 also does come, the, the stable rollout now does have one or two issues in the operating system, which Microsoft will want to prevent you know, bugs and issues as much as possible rolling out with Windows 11. And another reason is um, they, there might be one or two little things, uh, bugs and issues that Microsoft is trying to iron out on your actual device. That's why they say specific timing for when it will be offered can vary as we get it ready for you. And due to those issues, you are not seeing the update. And when they iron out those little issues and bugs, they will push the update to you and then you will be able to download and install it. Now, Windows 11 is an optional update. So if you are currently happy with Windows 10, you don't have to download and install Windows 11. Windows 10 is supported until 2025. And then, um, as mentioned in yesterday's video, Windows 11 is an optional update, but it's going to be a large feature update as due to all those uh, feature uh, new features and the redesign visually to the Windows 11 operating system, which means it will take a lot longer when you finally get it to download and install than a normal monthly cumulative update or a normal uh, Windows 10 feature update. Now, some of those uh, uh, issues that are currently known to be rolling out in Windows 11 are that basically there are compatib compatibility issues have been found between Oracle VirtualBox and Windows 11. And basically, uh, Microsoft says you might be unable to start your virtual machine um, and you might receive an error in this release of Windows 11 rolling out now. And then another little compatibility issue is with the Intel killer networking software and Windows 11, where they say you might um, get slower internet, internet speeds than expected uh, if your device is affected. Your internet speeds might be slower than normal. Now, if you are like myself and are compatible with Windows uh, to be upgraded to Windows 11, but you see this message and are wanting to upgrade sooner than later, you can head over to download Windows 11 now, which is uh, been made available uh, by Microsoft. And I will leave a link to this web page down below if you are interested. And they say there are three options below for installing or creating Windows 11 media. And basically, you can go check which one is best suited to your needs, which are the Windows 11 installation assistant, which you can download using that link. Uh, create Windows 11 installation media using the media creation tool. And you can also download the Windows uh, 11 disk image ISO. And obviously, you just need to select Windows 11. And basically, on each one of these options, you get before you begin where you can have all the installation instructions on how to do and go through the process using each uh, option available uh, to download Windows 11 if you don't want to actually wait for the update. But now just take note here that if you are upgrading from Windows 10, we recommend that you wait until you are notified through Windows Update that the upgrade is ready for your PC. And that's the recommendation from Microsoft. Um, 
Uh, if you are not seeing the update, they say rather be patient and wait for it to appear in Windows Update. But if you don't want to, you can always come over here and use these options as I have shown you to install Windows 11 uh, onto your uh, uh, Windows 10 device. But just be aware that there are different options here. So just read the uh, instructions and what each one will do in the update process before just be going ahead and actually just you know blindly just um, using each one without actually knowing what it does so i just wanted to let you know windows 11 for uh, is now rolling out and if your device is compatible you will see this message and if your device is incompatible you will see an error message saying that it's not compatible so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one